Alright you guys, so I just blew it on that recording. I started recording and apparently it stopped instantly or something. We just shot a diamond Ibex. I can't believe I didn't notice that. It didn't record that, but I just shot a diamond Ibex and this albino Pathetes. Which I guess, either show, I'll show the kill screen of the diamond I guess. I guess I'll mount this guy. But just shot this guy and we're going to make a Diamond Grand Slam guide 2021 version the last version quality was pretty low and so I was using an old recording software but just shot that diamond and this albino from up there I have my tent set up on top of here next to this lookout point and I run over to this tripod stand and I was actually didn't even know these guys are here. We're going after a albino wolf that I saw level 7. And then that guy showed up. But apparently I did not record. And I was talking the whole time. But for Bethides Ibex, I had my tent set up right here. This whole lake, best spot for him by far. And then this lake is also pretty good. And I have my tent set up down here. I've had diamonds and rares at both lakes. Tons of them. I think they do occasionally drink down here. Yeah, there's a zone right there at the tip of this. I have my uh, tent down there. I don't really hunt it at all. And then they do sometimes drink on this side of the lake. So I have a tent right there. So if you go to those spots, especially if you're hopping multiplayer or just grinding them, you'll definitely find some diamonds of the Pathetes. They're one of the easiest diamonds to get. And then for the Rondas, which are my favorite diamond ibex or my favorite ibex species on this map they are my favorite spots are right here I have a tent up at this lake um, right at the outpost and then you can look down and see all around this area and spot them drinking around this and then they also drink around this side over here Let's see what else for the rondas that's my second favorite spot. This one is up on the cliff as well and run down to the edge of the cliff and then you can see the entire lake, all the animals around it. This, this lake is probably one of my favorites in the whole map. It's just loaded with red deer, roe deer, mouflon, wolves, and ibex. This might be one of our wolves tracks hopefully. No, it's just ibex. You want to go to that lake for sure. I've had a bunch of diamonds from there. And they do occasionally drink around this, which I do have a tent up here on this side of the lake. And then for Grados, they only drink at two lakes. Two and part of this lake. Sometimes they drink there, sometimes they don't. On both sides of this outpost. I have a, another tent up here that I run down. You can r easily run down from there and up there. But run down from here and they're just all along this lake tons of them and then at this outpost around this little point it's just loaded with them and then at this end of this bay right here and you could set up a tent right here and it would be perfect be able to see them drinking all around this and might be able to see them over here for the Grados then let's start walking again and for the southeastern, they have a lot more lakes than most other species. And the there's level 4s that aren't even into the max weight estimate that you can make diamond. Um, so these should be pretty easy to get. And so I have tents at most of these lakes. I have one right here to be able to hunt both these lakes easily. I have another one right here up high so I can see the whole lake. Really good spot for them. And red deer. And I have another late, uh, outpost between the two lakes. This is my favorite for the southeastern ibex by far. And they usually only drink at the top of this lake. And they don't drink at these bottom two at all. 8.30 to 11.30 if you want to target them at their drink time, which is definitely the best to do. They're all congregated in one spot. There's not 
a ton of lakes for each species. And for red deer, this is by far my best red deer map. There's so many on this map. Only show off two of the spots for them, though, to keep this video shorter. And that is up here, this lake. See how many drink zones. Every single one of these are, they have red deer at them. Some of them are saying road deer, but I have a tent way up there. Run down all along this, and there's so many red deer. Then my next favorite would have to be this lake. I've had so many rares and diamonds around this lake. This is hunting pressure from when I last was killing a bunch of red deer, grinding them for a melanistic. And these are definitely the best two red deer spots. Which, another great spot I'll point out too is this little lake down here. Also amazing for them. And then for roe deer, you want to go to this lake probably as well. It's a really good lake. Had a bunch of diamonds there. And this lake up here. Several diamonds and rares. Have that tent right there. And then these lakes around here loaded with them. And wild boar, I haven't hunted that much, but this seems to be the best lake. And there's some up at this lake. That's a really good spot. And then European rabbits. This lake. And this lake. And what else are there? The wolves. Best spots for the wolves is this general area. They'll drink right here, right here, and right here are my favorite spots for them. I've had tons of diamonds. I've had a pristine. There's Ibex down there. Still have not found the albino wolf that I saw earlier. I'd like to get him so I at least get one good thing in this video since I somehow didn't record those other things. Okay, there's our albino finally coming in. All these other wolves. I shot that one level 8 and then I ran over here. And yeah, finally he showed up. It's on the other side of that rock somewhere. Okay, there he is right there. I was not thinking he was going to come in, but at least we got this guy. Finally shows up. So we got two albinos and would have gotten that. Oh, he's fleeing right now. I don't know if that's bugged fleeing. So, yeah, those guys are fleeing up there too. So I think they're bugged right now. See, one aggressive. Oh, I meant to use the 22. But hopefully he slows down after a short distance. Try to break him from that bug by spooking him again. So it seems to be endlessly fleeing. We don't have very many shots left. Keep gunning out the wrong binoculars. But we'll take this guy out if you'd stop for us. Might have to shoot him on the run if he doesn't stop. And we dropped him. There we go. That one looked a little bit dark, but I don't think it's melanistic. Yeah, it's just common. So we got that albino down. Two albinos and a diamond at this lake. I think I forgot to show the latest harvest. You can see there's our diamond right there. And I haven't played this game since the 18th. Just have not had the time. And I have a new PC coming that will be a lot smoother. It's a pretty powerful PC. Way better than this laptop that I have right now. So videos and videos will, will be a lot better. Won't be as many lag drops which you might not be able to notice because I usually cut it all out and the fan noise currently. There we go. There's our albino. Finally got that guy. That was a heart shot, actually. Alright, so here we are in our lodge. This is our, I think our second lodge. Second main lodge. 
and we put our diamond put these we didn't show because I didn't record it somehow and then right here we had a female albino Iberian wolf but now we put our level 7 gold albino right there and then we just have the small albino in a random room ibex right in here this random room of stuff but that's my 2021 guide to the grand slam diamond grand slam for ibex and hotspot maps for the rest of the species all my tent locations I do think I forgot to go over loadout so we'll go over it right now the 22 for the rabbits or hares and then you want the M1 for every ibex species up to red deer which is the biggest animal and works on the wolves and the wild boar and then 243 or the Mosin for roe deer so 22 243 and M1 is what I'd recommend for this map you can use a 7 millimeter if that's all you have but the M1 makes it really easy to make a lot of money and to grind on this map and with that thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one